Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Alex McCarty. And I'm Austin Scherer. Today is Thursday, October 3rd, and we're here with your morning announcements. Girls Who Code is meeting in HF2, Miss Hale's room, during Wolfpack Hour to design and create their very own vinyl stickers. All are welcome. Attention, Wolfpack artists. The library invites you to participate in an upcycled book contest. For this contest, artists will transform a book into a work of art. A book will be provided, and you can alter the book any way you want. All entries must be turned in before October 29th. All altered books turned into pieces of art will be displayed in the library in November. And prizes will be awarded to first, second, and third places, as well as three honorable mention prizes. This contest is open to all COHS staff and students. See Mrs. Liu and Mrs. Hoblitzel in the library for entry forms and books. Hey Wolfpack, the outlet is coming up in January. A place for expression without judgment. Put on by the Thespian Society. If you are interested in submitting a piece of writing for the outlet, or are just curious to see what that would entail, we will be giving the opportunity to come to view our writing workshops held every other Thursday in the theater room, HE5, from 3.15 to 4 o'clock. We want your voice to be heard. Attention freshmen, need additional support for studying for finals? Your link leaders are here to help. Link Rule will be hosting a cram with the pack session after school Wednesday, October 9th from 3.30 to 5 in HL3. Come get help with Math 1 and 2, Spanish, and any other subject you might be struggling with. And snacks will also be provided. We are starting the process of selecting students who will be participating in the Osaka Exchange Program for the 2019-2020 school year. If you are or were in Japanese class and are interested in going to participate, please contact Ms. Tanaka or visit her classroom at HM5. The due date for application is October 18th. BSU will be making vision boards on Wednesday, October 9th. If you are interested in creating your own vision board, join us during both lunches in HP10. The BSU strives to create a culturally diverse, inclusive, and brave space to build and foster student unity. All students are welcome and encouraged to come. There will be a club meeting for both Engineering Club and Lead Club today at 3.20 p.m. in HF5. All students interested in these clubs should plan to attend. A representative from the UCLA has just been a, just, has just been scheduled to visit CEO this coming Monday, October 7th. She will be here at 2.30. If you are interested in learning more about UCLA's campus and admission process, please sign up in the Career Center and pick up your pass. Now let's pass it on over to Harris and Matthew for your sports update. What's going on? I'm Opec, I'm Harris And I'm Matthew Jonah, and we're here with your sports update. Attention students, there are a girls volleyball game. Here today, freshman at 4, JV at 5, and varsity at 6. U.S. Rep Anthony Gonzalez, a former Ohio State football standout, is planning on to propose a new national law to give college athletes the opportunity to make endorsement money. Heavyweight world titleist Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz made their long-expected rematch official on Saturday, formally announcing that they will meet again on November 23rd at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. The fight will headline a Fox pay-per-view card. The fighters and their teams gather to meet the media at Staples Center hours before the Ariel Spencer Jr. and Sean Porter welterweight title unification bout at the arena. In other sports news, Lakers forward Kyle Kuzma signs a five-year endorsement deal with Puma worth more than $20 million, which makes him one of the highest paid players with Puma. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Harasaka. And I'm Matthew Girona. Back, Back to you, you anchors. anchors. Thanks for that, guys. The FAFSA is now open. Whether or not you think you're eligible for aid, you should complete this. The FAFSA is required to get two years free at community college and will help with the cost of a four-year college. COHS is halting financial aid night tonight at 6 p.m. in the MP room. Bring your parent or guardian and find out about applying for free money to help you with the cost of attending college. There will be an Interact meeting today after school in HM2. Come meet new people and help prepare for the Purple Pinky Project. All are welcome. Before we go, let's check out your Hispanic Heritage Fun Fact. Hi, my name is Emily Contreras and I'm going to talk to you about Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo is Mexican. She's best known for painting. Many people describe her as naive and folk art. Her art gave the world a look into the struggle of Mexican women. 
After her bus accident, she decided to become politically active and work with her husband, Diego Rivera. Frida Kahlo was an international sensation in the worlds of modern art and radical politics. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Alex McCarty. And I'm Austin Scherer. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a tantalizing Thursday, Wolfpack.